And hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so if you have the Delphi book on you, you know like the one that you get at school, um, go to page 48, down to duration of a variable. Variable. We will be doing that kind of type of activity. If you don't have the book, then don't worry, you can work with me because we're going to build this whole thing from scratch. You're going to go with me, you're going to practice this hopefully. Like, we all everything we're doing now, we have already done. So, this is basically just like a recap of everything we have done, what you can do. So, basically, we need three images. So, let's go image, image, image. Okay, we need one label it seems label we need three panels one panel one panel one panel and we need two buttons but let's first um, save these panels from each other all right there and now I'll click on that and then we add two buttons button button all right, now we can just do that. All right, so in here we're going to add three images. We will, we can just uh, go here and add images here. I'm not going to code images in. Rarely ever will we have to do that. I haven't done it even in a test. So yeah, we all know how to load an image. We have watched that video. All right, so now let's go to my pictures. All right, now pretend all of these are movies. Darren the Franks is actually serious, so we don't have to worry about that. You can go, okay, so these three are all movies. Okay. This is Linux the movie. This is Doki Doki Literature Club, the live action. And uh, this is Darren the Franks. All right, so now we have our movies. Now let's edit the label to say. Looks terrible, but it's fine. Okay, so we can resize these to be about this size. Okay, now we're going to keep all of these in name. So there's going to be image Linux. Darling. Now these panels will be keeping the votes. So this is giving them all names as well. Oop. Uh, name, 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 name. There, okay. PNL Linux. Okay, so we're getting there guys. Now let's just change all the captions to zero. Right, there we go. So now that we have this, we can maybe like move a little bit um, more up. Yeah, I guess that will work. Then there's one button for reset. Oh, that's a bit button. Hey, excuse me, that's my fault. Let's add a bit button. That's also a bit button. Oh my gosh. Bit button. Because now I have two bit buttons. So this one will be, oh wait, let's first go to Kai, let's change your Kai, maybe we're lucky and they will change the name for us. Uh, wait, let's go bits, btn, close. Okay, so that's bit button close. And it's kind shall be close. Let's see the change for us. 
This one's kind will be a reset or retry. But we'll change the caption to reset. Name bit btn uh, reset. Right in the caption, it can be and reset. Alright, so now we have the basic layout. So let's save everything. Alright, control shift this. So what's going to happen is once they click on these, they're going to, um, their cursor will be turning to a finger and once they click on it, this will increase and basically everyone can vote. The one that they choose will on the end of the day play like at school or something, you know, I, I'm not sure how to explain it. So yeah, we can maybe just go to cursor here. And make it hand point, point, and hand point. We don't have to code that in. Then we can run it just to make sure that everything works fine so far. All right, so here we have it. Hand point, hand point, hand point. Once I click on it, these should change. Close works. Alright, so I don't think we have talked about reset yet. Reset, you do have to code. Unfortunately, you can't just say reset because unlike close, which if you say close, it closes everything automatically. Um, so yeah, we uh, will have to do this, but we'll get to that. So we're going to code these all of them individually. We can create our own procedure, but we don't know how to do that yet now, do we? So we're going to code them all individually, individually. So then I'm going to go I vote and integer. Just make sure that you say it's a variable. Okay. So now we have a vote. And then when they unclick, he. So then we can go I vote becomes I vote plus one something's kind of telling me this should be a public or a private variable and in an on form activate we should make it zero because otherwise we might find a problem so let's do that just to be safe we create a form activate or form create whichever one you get so then I'm going to go I vote, uh, which is the first one. We can remove this for now, and we can remove this for now. Then here at private, we can go now. Once they click on Linux. I vote Linux will become I vote ooh, sorry about that I vote Linux plus one. Now so for what we have is once they activate the form all of these votes becomes zero. Alright, that's good, we need that. Then once they click on I vote Linux, I vote Linux, which is now zero, will become I vote Linux, that's zero, plus one. Then it's one. And if you click on it again, it will become one plus one, that's two. So it's basically, if you know some Java or JavaScript or any other programming language, it's basically I vote Linux plus plus. It's basically that, but sadly we can't do that. We can always, however, go inc I vote Linux. Now what inc does, it increments whichever and what is ever inside of here. So basically this whole thing is equal to this. So we're going to use that to shorten our code. So inc means basically I vote Linux becomes I vote Linux plus one. All right, wait, let's keep that earlier piece of code here just as an example, slash. Okay, and then PNL Linux dot caption becomes int to string I vote Linux. Now let's see if this works. 
So let's run. Okay, I click on it, it works. All right, that's nice. So basically we have our template for everything right now. Let's read just in that. So we can just click on that, copy this, paste it in there, just change it to I vote DDLC and make I vote DDLC. Then we can go in here, we can paste it again. I vote darling. I vote darling. P and L darling. P and L DLC. Okay, if you're going to be lazy, you should just remember to fix everything. Otherwise, you might have problems. All right, so that is basically for that part of the code. We have just all right. So. Ronald Frank's the movie, the DLC, the live action, and Linux the movie. Basically, everyone can say which one they want to watch. We all know Darling and Frank's is actually trash, if it wasn't for zero two, so it gets the least votes. All right, we have the first part, but reset still doesn't do anything. Well, basically, we have already coded reset as well. There, let's, let's copy that, and then we can just copy that. I don't want to type all this out. It's a lot to type out, and if you're lazy like me, this just copying it just makes it feel so much easier. Press Control D, press Control S, run it, and now it should work because we did everything we need to. So if you do your code from the very beginning correct it makes everything easier later on so reset perfect so i'll start from one again reset perfect start from one again easy as that yeah that is basically all that was very easy wasn't it guys thank you for watching see you all in the next video